Peggy 16. The first time we met, you asked me, what do you hear musically? And I, I answered, I said, the jungle is full of music. Because it's your first game? My first game. My first game ever. My first soundtrack uh, yeah, yeah. on a extended level, that's my first. I've done a lot of singles, a lot of albums, a lot of collaborations. Um, but this one kind of hit close to home because I've always had a, an interest in anthropology and the history of humans and why we are where we are today. Mm -hmm. Part of the process since day one, almost. Yeah. Right. There's also James Benjamin, who uh, is my associate uh, in other projects as well. It's very easy to think that uh, in a setting like uh, ancestors, we would go to what's typically uh, what we know as African or like tam tams. I mean, we wanted something completely different. enabled us to discover a bunch of different yeah. instruments that we would per perhaps not have thought of. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's what we wanted to discover, yeah. the different types of African music yeah. and how it can relate to ancestors. Yeah. And then when it came back to saying, okay, let's do it a bit more Africa, then we already had that knowledge there. Yeah. And that sort of ingrained itself in the game. It was a very simple representation of what was needed. The way, like when you said Africa, for me, it, I think of the continent, and I, I, it's like, it's so vast and so diverse, but there are common threads, and the common thread is, is the rhythmic language. So when you said Africa, I thought percussion and improvisation, because that's what they do. Totally fair. They improvise, they, within certain set rules. You know. Okay, t'es prêt? Ouais. Bon, on y va. Je sais pas trop où est-ce que je m'en vais, mais c'est ça qui compte. <laughs> like jazz. Jazz, you have a theme, and then you improvise around the theme. And it's like, I feel the whole soundtrack is kind of born from this sort of... Okay. Yeah. Do you want to, want to use that and, and try like some, uh, some response stuff? Play on what you just recorded, you know? Okay. Sounds great. I work with them specifically because of the level, their level of uh, execution and also that they improvise. And I, I like not having control sometimes, and this is the way I do it. Um, I give them green light to say, <laughs> what do you hear? He's talking, he's talking to the spirits. And um, it makes, it, it gives natural results. The results are always very organic and uh, not too forced, not too contrived. Um, and I like to work in loose context because that's that's how I get my ideas. Mais là j'ai un truc de, que je chantais le bata là. Ah, ouais. Ça marche bien là-dessus ça. Ça fait que c'est 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 tout kata tout tata tout tout ka tout ka. I went to your uh, percussion uh, the with Sago with Julien. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I saw you work man. Yeah. You were like a, in a trance. Oh yeah. Tout ka tout ka tout and you were creating on the spot, yeah. and you were telling, I a little bit like that, yeah. and then suddenly you came up with something else. Yeah. I think one of the better things that came out of uh, our adventure with the music is how we started with uh, a main theme and then we incorporated that in the design. Yeah. And then we played with the design, what works and what doesn't work. What are the sound cues, what are the melody cues that we call a player to. is hurt, for example, we only hear the percussions, right? But if you know the, the song, you, you know that's the song that's playing. All the music was almost done. And then I had the flash of like, what if 
When you go with your clan, there's voices to represent humans and that we're social beasts. Because each time you explore the jungle or uh, the rest of the, uh, of the world by yourself, there's yeah. no voices. And as soon as you're more than one, the voices come in. The, voices come in. the emotion I wanted to give, which is yeah. I'm not alone suddenly, yeah. this is in the game. But I, the way I heard it is that the metronome is the jungle. And so it's in your interest to adapt as quickly and as well as possible to that asynchronous existence that the jungle represents, which is basically you are food for anything that is bigger than you or you know, more savvy than you. You become food only because you get surprised. Yeah? And so that's where I, th I thought the music should answer to that dynamic is surprise the, the listener.